everybody to our 30 day coding challenge uh, where we are going to post a five minute video each day in April of 2020. Uh, it's supposed to be free here and it's hopefully fun for you. Uh, we're going to be using Python, uh, text based language if you're not familiar, and hopefully, this is for beginners that are STEM teachers. Um, math or any capacity parents or really anybody just interested in um, computer science and math in that intersection hence the name uh, CSM math so let's get started uh, I wanted oh you know what let's talk about how to get here if you wanted to get here you can search trinket Python and this is a, a free platform uh, it can be paid there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do in here so feel free to explore more uh, create an account or whatever you want to do. So pause the video, get here, uh, and the first thing you want to do is there will be a bunch of code when you come here. Just select all that, Control A, and delete it out, or uh, highlight it, delete it out. What I wanted to do today with you guys is just play around with <coughs> this five point star. So it's not covered in all math classes, it's a little bit different. I don't know, I just wanted to draw something fun with you guys. So, once you're to this point, the interface would look like here's where we're going to type our code, and over here is where it's going to show up. Now, a very good way, <clears throat> or a very good package to start things visual, it's a good way to learn uh, the programming language, is with a platform called Turtle. And it got this name from um, Seymour Papert, who actually had a physical turtle, you know, over 50 years ago, I believe it was. And uh, he had kids programming in a language called logo that they made at MIT and he had just just kids programming this physical turtle and it would draw on, on like paper on the floor and so it was really cool and it kind of stuck and that's why that name is turtle let's name our turtle so it's a t equals we'll call it our turtle t just to keep it short um, or you can call yours whatever you want turtle dot from turtle let's bring out this object called turtle now if I run this, right, it recognizes, this is the run button here. If I run up here, it doesn't produce any errors. Whereas if I would have some kind of misspelling, notice how it highlights in red, that's what errors would look like. So it says no module named Ertl. So you'd know that you must have made a mistake. So if you're getting something like that as we do this, it probably just means you type something in wrong. So just try to pause the video and compare the code to yours and see where you maybe were off. So now we've got this thing in there. Well, let's make it do some stuff. So our goal today is to draw this five-point star in five minutes. <clears throat> and if you think about these angles, um, well, let's let's just position ourselves somewhere. So let's say we're down here in the bottom left corner, right? To get it going up in this direction, uh, the turtle in this one actually starts pointing straight right. Okay, so we need to do a, a turn. So I do which is our turtle name dot left turn up off of horizontal left sorry 36 degrees and now if I execute notice how this arrow is kind of pointing up off of horizontal and then when you move the thing it actually moves in pixels so t dot forward is how we're going to use our moving today 200 pixels maybe would be good and notice that that distance is 200 teeny pixels on the screen. So that was about the four minute mark, and we don't quite have this done, so we got to think about, well, how could we do this fairly quickly? Well, now if I go to, and I had previously planned um, talking through this, so one thing that's really hard for people is if we're traveling up this um, side of the star, this is the direction that the... Um, the turtle is, is headed, right? And so most people would think, oh, well, I just tell it to turn 36 degrees. Well, the problem is, is 36 degrees, a little tricky to draw with this. That's the this interior angle, right? And we want to draw uh, this exterior turn. So that's the one that's supplemented to the 36, or adds up to 180. So we actually have to turn left, t dot left, the exterior angle. Of 144 and uh, if I run this notice how it's pointing straight this direction nice and what you might see is that that's just going to repeat a bunch of times 
five times to be exact. The one usually means most people's go to is to copy this and paste it, right? And that's smart <clears throat> because you're saving yourself time. I just use Control C, Control V, and I was copying and pasting. But we could actually do um, some looping. And one of the biggest things in math and in programming is pattern recognition and how to deal with those patterns. So we are going to, for today, do a for loop. This is how I'll end off our code. So for item, this I stands for, I believe, item um, or something with starting with an I. We can talk about that more tomorrow uh, in uh, five times. Do these things. Now, that shows up like a little loop block on, let's say, a programming language called Scratch that's block-based or anything with blocks. We actually have to highlight this stuff and tab it in so that it knows it's inside this loop. So now if I run it, boom, we've got ourselves a five-point star. You could try to just uh, see if you can figure out how to enclose it in a pentagon if you're feeling really ambitious. But we just would recommend uh, emailing this code to yourself. We actually save it usually into a document ourselves. But you could uh, tweet it if you want to. Maybe you're on Twitter. You could tweet this out to somebody, show them what you did uh, directly from this platform, or copy and paste it into a Google Doc. Or, you know what, if you do that, don't forget you can include the hashtags uh, CS and Math. Um, hashtag CS and Math, you know, hashtag um, 30 day coding challenge and sorry we went up to seven minutes i'm going to try to keep them at five but that is something that we could certainly do and we'll pick up from here tomorrow on day two thanks for joining us